Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Roots and Refuge Farm. My name is Jess. Today I want to talk to you about a step of starting your own seeds, your own plants for your garden, that if you skip it, could cost you all your work. It's so important and that is hardening off. But first I wanna make an announcement that we have our Real Food Comes Dirty t-shirt design back available for a limited time. We have it in a t-shirt and a tank top as well as our Please Plant Me Where the Wild Things Grow design. We run our shirts and pre-orders so that we can support and work with a local business and we also choose materials with which are ethically sourced and never created in sweatshops. It's open now, the link is down below. Now let's learn about hardening off plants. So my greenhouse is completely full of life in all stages right now. I've got some mature plants up here that I actually bought at a local nursery down here and lots of little tomato seedlings that started as a handful of seeds in my basement and over here we're welcoming new guys to the party every day now here's the thing whether you are starting your seeds in an unheated greenhouse like i am i have this glass greenhouse whether you're starting them in a plastic greenhouse whether you're starting them under grow lights inside your house even if you're taking measures to make your plants stronger in that controlled setting, like a fan set up to give some resistance to the stems of those seedlings, which I do have here in the corner of my greenhouse, the fact of the matter is they're just not strong enough to go straight outside. Now, I'm gonna be honest, hardening off is probably the most annoying step of starting seeds. Because usually when it comes down to the time to harden your plants off, your frost date is probably past or very nearly. You're having nice warmish days. The sun is shining. It feels so great. You wanna get in the garden. And here you have all of these beautiful seedlings that have turned into beautiful plants. They're ready to transplant. You're ready to get them transplanted. And then someone's like, hold on, you need to wait a week and go through this slow and agonizing process of moving plants in and out of the space every single day until you get the gratification of putting them in the garden. And you might be tempted to say, oh, pish posh, I don't need to do that, they'll be fine, but I'm here to tell you they will not be fine. If you put your seedlings, even from a greenhouse like this that is glass directly out in the garden, you are very, very much risking their lives. Because there's just no way for this plant, which has been protected and has never been exposed to the full strength of the sun to be able to handle that kind of shock. So today I want to talk to you about the process of hardening off, but the very first thing that I want to impress upon you is that you must do it. Yes, it's a pain in the butt. Nobody wants to carry their seedlings in and out of the greenhouse or the house every single day for a week. Yes, I understand you want to plant your garden, but you have put so much work into these seedlings. Finish them well. Now anytime you buy started plants at it, like a greenhouse or garden center, they're gonna come hardened off. So this tray of plants is actually already ready to go outside. I brought them in last night because we had uh, kind of close to freezing temperatures. But I want us to do a little comparison. So you might never notice this without putting the seedlings directly side by side, but I want you to notice the way the leaves on this hardened off plant are coming in versus this plant which has never been hardened off. Now, I can't share this with you because there's no way to uh, convey it in a YouTube video, but the leaves on the hardened off plant are significantly thicker, whereas on the unhardened off plant, they're still kind of thin. They're just more frail and you can kind of see the color difference here. You can see how these look a little more leathery and they're just a darker green. This hardened off plant has just been through the process of being steadily exposed to the outdoor elements and it's just stronger. What happens whenever you put plants directly outside that have not been slowly introduced to the sun in its full capacity, to the wind, to the temperatures of outdoors? is that they shock. They can get what's called sun scald, which is where they get this white, um, it, it's sunburn, and their leaves will turn really white. And sometimes you put them out if they're not properly hardened off and they'll recover. Sometimes they'll look really bad for a little while and then they pull through, they grow new light leaves and they're fine. But sometimes in doing that, you, you are taking the risk that they might not recover. Or if they do recover enough to grow, that they're always stunted. So what do you do to make sure that that doesn't happen? You introduce your plants to the outdoors in small measured increments. 
so that they can adjust. Yes, that means carrying all of these trays of plants outdoors and then carrying them back inside every day. And nobody said it was fun, but it's necessary. So my process for hardening off goes like this. As I'm approaching my last frost date, I'm looking at my 10 day forecast and I'm noticing that I don't have any days in the next 10 days, which we're going to have freezing temperatures overnight. And I also notice that it looks like most of the evenings as the sun is going down, we're probably not gonna get below about 40 degrees Fahrenheit or four degrees Celsius. So I come out to my greenhouse a couple hours before sunset and I move all of those trays out here onto the front porch of my greenhouse. They're gonna spill over into the garden here and I go back back in I leave them out here I set an alarm I always set an alarm so that I don't forget uh, but in the evening light not in the middle of the day not whenever the Sun is at the brightest in the evening light I give them about an hour the first day and I come back and I put them all back in and the next evening I give them two hours the next evening I might give them three hours by evening four I might leave them out here until after dark I'm, I might come out around 4.30, 4, and leave them out here until dark, which, you know, three or four hours. And I repeat that, adding a little bit of time now. Towards the end of that week, I will come out and checking the forecast, making sure that it's not going to get below about 40 degrees Fahrenheit or four degrees Celsius. And I'll put my plants out at about four in the evening so that they've got a good four hours before dark, and I'll leave them out overnight. And in the morning, I let them stay out for maybe another four hours. And then I come and I put them back in for the heat of the day. And I repeat that for a couple of nights. You will be able to tell a notable difference in your plant after a week of this process. The leaves will be thicker, they will turn a darker green. You'll be able to tell that they're stronger. And at that point, after repeating this, exposure to the outdoor elements for seven to ten days your plants are ready to go into your garden now if you are able to start your hardening off process during a series of overcast days you might be able to give them a little more time outside because it's not quite as intense as direct sunlight where there are no there's no cloud cover but don't be fooled your plants still can get a sunburn so i would not just say oh it's my first or second or third day of hardening off and it's overcast so i'll just leave them outside for several hours especially during the mid middle of the day because the uv exposure at that point is still a lot higher than what those plants are used to in a controlled environment like the greenhouse or the house if you have started the hardening off process and then you notice that it's going to be a cold snap and it's going to be really chilly out um, or you notice that you're going to be getting like really intense weather high winds thunderstorms lots of rain just skip that day don't put your plants that are not hardened off yet out in the elements like that now the exception to the always 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 harden off rule is if you are putting your plants out under some sort of cover like a low tunnel or if you have like a high tunnel something like that then you're probably going to have a little bit of wiggle room in this because you're taking them from a controlled and filtered light environment into another controlled and filtered light environment now if you have the option of kind of testing them in that place and making sure that they don't have an adverse reaction so like maybe put the tray of plants in the low tunnel for a handful of hours in the evening the night before and then take a look at them the next day maybe test it for half the day the day after and then test and see okay they don't look like they're getting a sun salt scald i can go ahead and plant them now when it comes time to transplant your plants into the garden after they are properly hardened off and they have been slowly exposed to the outdoor elements for at least a week with in increasing increments every day Make sure you check your 10 day forecast, even if it's past your estimated last frost, even if they're selling plants at the store, even if your neighbor already planted, check your forecast just to be sure. It's always a good idea to check your forecast before you plant anything in your garden. Pick your prepared garden spot, put the transplant in, make sure you water it really well. And if at that point you've hardened off and they still get a little bit of sun scald, because some plants just are more tender and you know you might end up with an extremely bright day right after you put them in uh, don't worry about it like if you get a little bit of sun scald usually your plants will recover I've had plants recover from pretty intense sun scald whenever I decided to test out how important it was to harden your plants off and they recovered they might shock 
at first whenever you first plant them they might lay over uh, they might look really wilty but usually they recover within 24 to 48 hours of being planted now if you started your seeds indoors and then you are moving them out to a greenhouse situation like this there's probably some slow introduction that needs to happen there as well what i usually try to do if i'm moving grow light started seeds out to my greenhouse is I do sort of a slow introduction. I usually try to do it on a day that is overcast so I know that's not going to be super intense in here and I usually like to move them out like in the evening um, or very late in the afternoon where they're getting kind of a smaller dose of sun and then if it looks like it's going to be super sunny the next day I usually come out and check on them like late in the morning to make sure that they're okay. Lastly if you do have a greenhouse and you are coming up on the time that you're going to harden off one option that you can do to also help them uh, kind of have some more wind exposure as well as be able to handle some temperature fluctuations is leave the door of your greenhouse open as long as it's it's not going to be freezing. Here this last few weeks before planting I always have the door of my greenhouse open. I check the forecast every evening and if it looks like it's going to stay above about 40 degrees I will go ahead and leave the door open overnight and that just kind of helps these these little guys get used to the fact that the temperature does fluctuate outside. It's not really a hard process except for the fact that it really stretches your patience muscle when it comes down to wanting to plant. But going ahead and exercising the patience and the, and the due diligence to make sure your plants are ready to go to the garden and produce lots of food for you this year is totally worth it. It would be extremely disappointing to do all the work to get to this point and then blow it on one uh, single act of impatience. <laughs> Thank you guys. I bless you. Until next time.